Now, Channel 3, early warning weather. All right, 915 now on this Saturday morning after a clear, cold and calm start. The wind is starting to increase a bit out of the south right now at around uh, 10 to 15 miles an hour. We do have a wind advisory up for most of the state. It runs through this afternoon into the evening hours. That's when we could see some wind gusts 40 to 50 miles an hour and enjoy the sunshine. You can already see some high clouds overspreading the capital city. 28 there, our view from New Haven, 34 degrees and more cloud cover and from uh, New London as well ample sunshine there and from Middletown uh, you can see those high clouds working overhead. So those clouds all a precursor to some snow that's going to be falling over the next couple of hours. So uh, even here say before noon we could see some uh, light snow reach the Litchfield Hills but the the main event with regard to any sort of potential squall is along this front that's extending from say Syracuse to Pittsburgh right now. So that heads in our direction by the middle of the afternoon and that will bring with it the chance again for some poor visibility and and a quick coating of snow that could lead to some slick travel across Connecticut. So we've got some milder air, relatively speaking, 30s to our southwest. We've got teens to our north. We're going to remain at or a little bit below average today and tomorrow and then start trending in the upper direction. So this uh, clipper is going to pass to our north. This Arctic front attached to it is going to swing through southern New England later on this afternoon. So as we head towards, say, lunchtime, uh, looking for scattered snow showers to break out, even, say, as soon as 10, 11 o'clock across western Connecticut. But uh, again, that, that squall action. We're talking about two, three o'clock Western Connecticut quickly pushing eastward, say by four or five o'clock. It's done. It's over. Uh, but you know, the damage could be done in a short window of time under again a squall, poor visibility due to the heavy nature of the snow. It's brief though, but could add up in some communities. We could see a coating to a half inch uh, across a good part of Connecticut up in the hill towns of Northwest and Northeast Connecticut. We could see some uh, towns come in with some totals above one inch. So it doesn't take much, of course, to lead to some slick travel. So plan accordingly if you're going to be out and about this afternoon. Temperatures today reach only the mid and upper 30s. When you factor in the wind, it's going to make it feel like the 20s, if not the teens. And just uh, for a little insight here today, too, a notable date uh, when it comes to climate, climate data for the Hartford area, 40, our average high. That's where it is today as we continue uh, progressing in the upward direction. So uh, with regard to the rest of the holiday weekend, uh, Sunday, tomorrow, mostly sunny, temps in the 30s be a bit breezy, but not as windy as today. And then Monday, ample sunshine for President's Day, and it's by Monday the temperatures do trend back to, say, close to 50. So 30s tomorrow near 50 on Monday. Tuesday, we've got uh, some wet weather. Rain becomes likely. Could linger in a very early Wednesday morning. Wednesday, sun and clouds. Temperatures top out 55 to 60. Thursday, I think at least as of now, a dry day. But Friday, that's our next real time frame of interest. I want to show you the different model spreads right now. The GFS as we head into early Friday, and this is a colder track showing that we do have the potential for some snow as we close out this upcoming week. Meanwhile, the European model, keep in mind we are seven days out, things will continue to change, but this starts as a little wintry mix in snow and then goes over to rain as we head through the day on Friday. So a lot to be ironed out between now and the end of next week. So in the meantime, we've got you know a cold start to the weekend, trending milder by Monday and then close to 60 Wednesday before that next system arrives on Friday.